Hi and welcome to this lab session. In this lab, we will look at how to copy the data set tables from the S3 bucket file to the Redshift database in order to perform the queries on that data set or to perform the analysis. If you remember, these were our two buckets. This one was created using the web console and this one was created using the command line interface. If we go to this bucket, you remember we had an object named as 100 sales record. So in this lab exercise, we will be using this dataset file to perform some analysis. To perform the queries, we need to first move this data to the redshift. And for that we have two methods. You can use an im role method by creating it and giving the access to the redshift to access the S3 bucket. And the other way is using the access ID and the secret access key. We will discuss both the methods. We will see one for now. So let's see the access key method. For that we have to go to the im rule option here and then create a new user for this. Let's name it as s3 user. I will only allow the programmatic access. So to quickly let you know the programmatic access is needed if you go for the CLI tool that we saw previously. But if you need the console access as well, you go with the console access too. So we will select both for now. Click on next. And here attach some policies. We want the S3 policy so I will give it the S3 read only access. Click next and here we have the permission summary. This is the policy we have assigned. So click on create user. Okay, so here you can see you have the access key ID and the secret access key. Moving on next, we will go to the SQL workbench and uh, it is connected with my Redshift database on my AWS account. So basically I will copy the dataset file from S3 to Redshift using this console which is the SQL Workbench. Here I have these two tables and we have the sales record table with us. I have created the sales record table beforehand and the creating table code can be found in the resource section. So that you can create one for yourself during practicing. And here is the 100 sales record data set that we previously uploaded. So to copy, we will write down the command copy and the table name sales record. And then from the location, so I will give the S3 location from where we want the data set to be copied in the created table. Next, we give the access key ID which we just created. So copy the access key ID and paste it here. Next we will give the secret access key, copy this one as well and paste it here. Next we will tell what delimiter is used in the dataset file. So as it is a CSV, so a comma is the delimiter in this case. And then we need to ignore the header because if you see here, the first row contains the title and it is not the actual data. So we will ignore the header here. So for that, write ignore header for this and then give the time format as auto. Now let's run this command. So you can see that the data has been loaded successfully. Let's move to this sales record database and move to the data tab. So to see the data, here you go. The data is now available to us and these are the complete dataset values which we had in our dataset files. To summarize quickly, in this method, we used the access key and secret access key to copy the dataset values from the dataset that was in S3 to our table in the Redshift database. 
In our next lab session, we will look at how to use the IM role to copy the dataset from S3 to Redshift, which is also the recommended method of data copying.